Hi guys, welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Well, if I roll down to the bottom of this page, we've had a few questions lately about icon lists and mail to links. I'm going to try and answer those all in one video today. So I've created a little icon list here. We'll show you how to build this. The email link here, if you click on it, whatever device they're looking on, it's going to bring up the default email client and populate it with that address. And the telephone number here, if they're viewing on a phone and they click on it, it'll prompt them to call that number. On a computer, it'll prompt them to open something like Skype and call from their computer using a tell link for that one. Really easy to do. So let's get started. I'm going to enable my visual builder. Once enabled, let's roll down to where we want to work. Then I've got a section here, the blue tab. I've got a row inside with two columns there. Let's get rid of all this and we'll start from scratch. Okay, I'm using a blurb module to do this today. So I'm going to hit the little dark button to add a new module. There's our fantastic little blurb module, one of my favorites there. And let's put the address in where the title goes right here, whatever it may be. Sweet 001. Let's have a little gap there. It's right there. I know you can't see it. I'll make it so we can see it in a moment. I don't want anything in the content down there. All I want is that number right there. Don't want this big image or placeholder that they got here. I'm going to use an icon for mine today. So if you click on image and icon, it'll take you here. Hit that use icon switch. And let's search for a home or a house, I guess. I think that's what I used before. Great. Down below, you can link this module to where you want. I'm not going to link this particular one. We will be linking a few in a moment. But of course, I don't want this big icon. We can barely see that text. I want the icon on the left of the text. And obviously, we want to be able to see this. So let's go over to our design there. Or you can just click the little pencil associated with it. It'll take you straight to the design of the image and icon right there. Initially, I'm going to match the colors I've got here. I had an orange color going on. Then when they hover over it, it turns green, which is kind of crazy. But if you want to add a hover effect, it's really easy to do. And this is common to all Divi modules. If you roll over the dark writing, you'll see these little icons appear. If there's an arrow, click on it. It's going to bring up two tabs. Desktop is when the mouse is not on it. Hover, obviously, is when the mouse is on it. We'll turn it green. Great. Well, let's flip that back. I'm going to roll down just a little bit. I don't want the icon on the top. So I'm going to click on this. I'm going to put it on the left. Great. Now, you can resize it if you want to. That actual size is going to work fine for me for the moment. So I'm going to leave that just like that. Now, let's go into our text. And again, you can just click on the little pencil associated with it. Left click. It'll take you straight to the design for that. I'm going to leave mine on the default. H4 is fine for me. If you want to change the font, you can do so right here. And there's plenty to choose from. To audition one, just roll over it. It'll give you an example. Like I say, I'm leaving mine on the default. I'm going to leave it regular, but I will make it the same color, which is that orange. And when we hover over on it, let's turn it green to little arrow. Hover tab. Perfect. But of course, I want it to be sort of in line with our little house there or somewhere around the middle of our little house there. We can adjust it using the line height down below. If we roll down a little bit, here's the line height. If I start sliding it up, you'll see it dropping down because it's increasing the line height. A little bit too much. Something like that I think will work for me. Obviously adjust to taste. Perfect. So we've got our first one there. Now, once you've got one, it's really easy to do the rest. We don't have to go through all of this again. Let's save our changes. I'm going to duplicate this by rolling over it, hitting the two little squares. There it is. But that's a little too far away from me. I really don't want that next one to be so far away. So let's go into our original one, the top one here. I'm going to go into the design and spacing. I'm going to take any margin away that's at the bottom here. So if I put a zero in there, you'll see that one jumps up right below it. That's a little tight for me. I think I've used 10 picks before, but obviously adjust to taste. I think I want mine about that far apart. So once we're happy with that, we can save that. Remember, we're in the top one. We can re-delete our second one and clone this one again. So we've got one with the right spacing. 
simply go into that. We'll put our second redress line in there. New York, NY, 10,004. And I'll change that icon out too. Let's put a little map pin in there. I think that's the one I used last time. Okay, and our next one's going to be an email. So we'll put a link in that will pop up the default mail client on whatever device they're looking at it on. So I'm going to clone that on one more time. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to go in there. Let's give it an email. Info at mybiz.com. Now this time I'm going to link it. Let's copy the email address there. Control C to copy. Let's do the image and icon. Then we'll go down to the link and we'll just look for an email icon. There we go. That'll work perfectly. Now we can close that up. We'll go down to the link below. I'm going to link the whole module. You can just link the title, which will be the email part. I want to link the whole module, so I'm going to put the link in there. So I'm going to paste that email address in there that we just copied. Control V to paste. But right in front of it, I'm going to write mail, M A I L T O. All one word, mail to, and a colon. Now, when they click on this link, it'll open their default mail client. Just put M A I L T O, mail to, colon, info at my biz, or whatever your email address is. Great. How easy was that? Now we're going to put in a telephone number. We'll put in a link and a fax number, and we're done with this. So let's clone this one more time. I'm going to go into this one. And we're going to put a number in there, 205-5858. And we're going to change that icon out for a phone. we we'll use that modern-looking phone. Now, to make this call, as you saw from a computer, it'll prompt you to use something like Skype. And on a phone, it'll just prompt you with a call button. To make that happen, let's copy that number one more time. Control C again to copy. We're going to go down to the link again. This time we're going to use a tell link. Remember we've got our mail to link in there from before. We'll have to remember to take this out when we clone the next one. We're going to use a tell, T E L colon. Now it's really important you put your country code in there first. For instance, the United States is 001 and then the number, but it needs to be the full number with the area code. And there doesn't want to be any gaps, so make sure you take the gaps away when you paste this number in there. And now, when they click on this, it'll prompt the user to make this call. Fantastic. That's that one done. One more time for a fax. I want to take that link out. I remember it. I'm going to do that first thing, because we don't want that to call this number, or maybe you do. In the link there, let's take that out. And fax numbers are usually just one number different from a regular number. So let's do that. Perfect. Now let's change the icon. I think they've got a fax machine. There it is. Great. So we've now built an icon list that's interactive because we can call an email using it. Now if you wanted to, you could link this to a Google Map and put a Google Map link in there. But I've got a live Google Map down below. So let's save our page changes, make sure this is all going to work on the front end. Save draft or publish if you're ready. And let's exit the Visual Builder. We are roll on down. There's our little icon list. When we roll over, it's going to change the color there. Like I say, you could link these to Google Maps if you wanted to. This one, when I click on it, it should bring up my default mail client and populate it with that email address there. Fantastic. This one should prompt me to make a telephone call or open Skype. Fantastic. And this one is just a fax. So there you go. I hope that's answered a few of those questions. There's how to create a nice little icon list for your contact section. That's where I use these things all the time. And also how to make it active by making that tell link, T-E-L colon, and then the full number, including the country code, and a mail to, M-A-I-L-T-O colon, and then the email address to bring up the email client. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, 
and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget, if you have any questions, pop them down below. I'll do my best to answer them for you or make a little demo video just like this one. So once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.